Scorpio. It's Elle here to do your 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this Scorpio. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Scorpio with a clear and concise message from you. Okay, so Scorpio, it looks like we have a situation here. Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Six of Wands, clarifying the Five of Swords. Um, okay, so it looks like some of you have um, gotten out of a relationship. Now, what type of relationship this was, uh, whether it was boyfriend, girlfriend, engaged, or an actual marriage, I'm not sure you know what type of relationship you were in or are in it looks like either um presently someone is trying to do some something covertly they're trying to get away with something trying to be deceptive they're not tr they're trying to go undetected in in their actual plans okay or with their actual plans they're trying to show you something else um but it is something else. It's an ulterior motive, okay? Um, this could be a husband or someone you were committed to, or this could already be someone who's in a commitment. This is someone who's trying to appear like something or somebody else. Um, maybe try to appear different or renewed, or um, they're trying to switch how they deal with you. You know, maybe try to make it more attuned to you um in your liking whatever it is or yeah, i don't know it's trying to come to you and uh make it seem as if if they changed it seems like you know something's not right here because we have the seven of swords followed by the five of swords when you see the seven first and then the five next that talks about intuition okay so intuitively you know something is not right okay or you're questioning this person's motivation right now why now why come what for or uh, or yeah you're just like what why now um and and what is it that you want now uh, what has changed because nothing has changed with me except the fact that i don't want to be a part of it anymore um but what has changed with you you may be uh, questioning this per person's motivation. Why do they want you back? Why do they want to be back with you? Um, why are they trying to give you this attention? Why are they trying to come off as if they have changed? It could be because they want a second chance with you. They want another try with you. The cards are asking you to kind of, you know, um, slam the hammer down on this or bring the hammer down on this is it yes or no are you in or out are you you gotta make some final decision about this um are you allowing for this to happen to go forward or are you putting a stop to it this could also be for some of you some relationship that you had a secret um it, especially if you're dealing with someone who's already married or couple something of that nature um the person that you're dealing with could be asking you this question why now what do you want and they could also be using their intuition uh, or their intuition could be real spot on in terms of questioning your motivation what is it that you want because um I think somebody wants the other person back because they see them flourishing. They see them independent, um, independent of them, independent of, of this situation, this relationship, not codependent anymore, um, not giving to the situation anymore. And um, they see this person moving on, maybe even getting attention. They're strutting their stuff and getting attention and they're moving on with, you know with victory or in victory it seems as if the person that had that left this situation is um you know they won the battle they didn't win the war but they definitely won this battle and there could be somebody here 
could be you, Scorpio, could be anybody, but somebody say they just don't like it. They don't like it. This is real ego based and real ego driven. They they want this person back in the same capacity that they had them. Whether it was side chick, side dude, needy, dependent, sex driven, whatever. They want that back. But there's somebody here who is um, welcoming the new in their life and um, they've kind of moved on. The cards can also, if this is you Scorpio, on the side of um, maybe not moving away from a situation that you are, you've been being deceptive in, you need to welcome the new. There's some newness that can be had here. It's for the taking, but it's up for you to take it. Somebody could be married couple in that type of situation and they're sneaking out on their person or they were sneaking out on their person. The person on the outside, it looks like they're kind of moving themselves away from this. Um, they're independent from this relationship. Um, they don't want a lot to do with this person in terms of you know it being intimate and sexual and all of that stuff. Um, so maybe the, the person is still in the connection in the marriage or the relationship. Now they're seeing this as um, a losing battle, as if they have lost, that th if this is an all out failure for them and it's making them uh, be driven by their ego, wanting this person back, wanting to uh, kind of sway this person in order to, to uh, get them to get you know, fall back in love with them, come back to the relationship, whatever it is. So um, that's what we have here. Somebody's going to make some final decision. Um, Scorpio, are you in or are you out? Uh, do you want this relationship? Do you not? Um, question your motives to question a person's motives that is trying to come off or appear changed. So this is your reading. Um, I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there, take advantage of the text question, or you can text a question to the number below, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Also, you can donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link if you feel moved to do so. Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you.